Hey, what is up guys? Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. We're taking a look at some awesome tweaks that are compatible with iOS 9.3.3. This is another episode of Best Tweaks of the Week. If you guys haven't seen previous episodes, I will leave a link down in the description. So if you guys want to check those out, feel free. But anyways, like I said, uh, here are some really cool tweaks that are compatible with the new iOS 9.3.3 jailbreak. Uh, so first thing I got for you guys is Winterboard. This tweak basically allows themes to work on your device. I'm covering this first just because I think theming your device is the ultimate way of making it look customized. Uh, it makes it look like nobody else's iPhone having a custom theme on it. Uh, the theme I am using is called Iris. It's just one of my favorite themes. There's obviously hundreds and thousands of themes within Cydia that you can check out and try out. Uh, this just happens to be one of my favorites. Uh, so if we go into settings here, we swipe down until we get to our uh, tweaks. Here is Winterboard, and basically the way Winterboard works is as you download different themes, uh, they will be within the Winterboard list right here. As you guys can see, I do have the round theme installed as well. I'm not using it right now. And then here is the theme uh, that I'm curr currently using. Like I said, Iris, uh, just one of my favorite themes. So that's basically how Winterboard works. Now I'm going to add another tweak to this list uh, just because it's kind of under the hood. Uh, you wouldn't know I have it installed. It's called Icon Support. So if you guys are using themes and it doesn't theme all of the app icons, at least all of the stock apps like Notes, Clock, Calendar, all of the Apple applications, uh, it's probably an issue with the theme. And I've noticed that using the tweak icon support will basically fix some of those um, mismatched theme names or whatever it might be. So it's an under the hood tweak. It's free and it makes themes look much better in my opinion. Again, it's called icon support. Next up, we have no more separators. So if we go back into my settings, as you guys can see, there are no separator lines in all of these list views. We can back all the way out. As you guys can see, there's no separation lines between all of the different uh, sections within settings. And I think that this tweak just makes the menus and certain areas within iOS look much better, not having all of the annoying separator lines. Uh, it's a very simple free tweak. Again, that's called no more separators. So with the iOS 9.3.3 jailbreak being so fresh and new, a lot of the tweaks in Cydia are not updated yet and are going to cause you guys a lot of problems, especially with crashing your springboard or other issues you might have. Uh, and that brings me to Crash Reporter. It is the application in the lower left hand corner there. It's kind of like the yellow uh, icon with the bug on it. I can't really demonstrate how it works on video, uh, but this is definitely a must have application from Cydia for any jailbreaker. Basically, uh, if your springboard crashes or an application crashes, uh, Crash Reporter will basically give you a uh, notification letting you know what it thinks the issue is. It'll let you know if a tweak is causing you a problem or if there's something in specific wrong with an application. Uh, it's just a very handy application on any jailbroken device. Again, that is Crash Reporter. Next up, we have another free tweak from Cydia and it is Cylinder. Uh, this is basically just animated page scrolling effects. As you guys can see, uh, my pages basically just fade from one to the other. Uh, if we go into settings here, swipe back down to my tweaks, go into cylinder, go into effects. There are literally tons and tons of different animations that you can choose from, uh, you know, depending on what you like the best. I have page fade and then stay put as a combo. That's another cool thing about cylinder is you can basically... Um, use you know more than one effect to come up with your own kind of custom effect if we go ahead and switch it to hyperspace I'll show you guys what that looks like so that's a pretty cool looking animated page scrolling effect again this tweak is called a cylinder the next tweak brings us to the lock screen so if we go ahead and go to my lock screen and swipe over to input my passcode as you guys can see there is no numbers or anything within the buttons and I really like this tweak I don't know why it just makes it look incredibly simple it might confuse somebody that's trying to get into your device this tweak is called simple passcode buttons it's free and basically all it does is remove all the numbers uh, from the passcode buttons on your lock screen and I just really like the way how simple it looks you know it looks really good with wallpapers and like I said it might confuse somebody that's trying to get into it so very cool simple tweak again it's called simple passcode buttons Next up, we have a tweak which is specifically made for the iOS 9.3.3 jailbreak. I can't really demonstrate it on video, but if we go into Cydia, uh, the tweak is called Initialized. So if you guys would know with the iOS 9.3.3, 
jailbreak being semi-tethered, uh, basically if your device dies or reboots, uh, you will have to re um, basically enable the jailbreak through the jailbreak application. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'll put a link in the description for the video that I covered on how the jailbreak works. I'll also put a, a card up on screen as well if you guys want to get more in depth. But basically when you reinitialize the jailbreak, uh, this tweak will give you a pop-up on your lock screen letting you know that the jailbreak was successfully initialized, which is kind of nice because I've heard a lot of people having problems uh, with it not re-initializing properly. And this tweak could just be nice. It's kind of a reassurance that your jailbreak is working properly. It just gives you that pop-up when you do re-initialize the jailbreak. The next tweak I got for you guys is called Polis. So if we open up Control Center, as you guys can see, it looks quite a bit different. Uh, so with Polis, it's basically going to allow you to uh, customize the buttons within your control center completely. You can choose how many buttons you want displayed. You can have multiple pages of buttons. Uh, as you can see for the top for the toggles, I basically still have the stock iOS ones, but on the right hand side, I do have a respring button, uh, which is extremely convenient, you know, for trying out different tweaks and whatnot. Being able to just click the respring button on my device is very nice. Uh, as you can see, I got rid of the basically the backgrounds of the buttons. That's how it's just showing the icon of the button, which I think is really nice looking. At the bottom, I still have the stock buttons down there as well. You can also swap those out for app uh, application shortcuts or different toggles. Basically, you can customize it fully. So let's go into settings here. Let's back out of cylinder and let's go into Polis. Go into configuration. And as you guys can see, you have your bottom shelf and then your top shelf. And like I said, you can fully customize, you know, all the toggles and buttons within uh, Control Center. Also adjusting uh, display options and also you have custom shapes. I have mine set to none, so it just shows the icon. Uh, definitely a very, very cool tweak that's going to allow you to fully customize your Control Center. Now the last tweak I got for you guys is called Hide Me X. This is hands down probably one of my favorite tweaks of all time just because there is so much stuff you can do with this tweak. It's pretty ridiculous. Uh, so first off, one thing I did with Hide Me X is I changed the blur value of my control center. That's why it seems to be a little bit more transparent for you guys. Also, I have it so that it does not dim the background, which I think looks really good. I love the way, you know, this looks a little bit more transparent than normal. Also, if we bring down Notification Center, as you can see, there's no status bar here. Also, there's no... Uh, you know lines also the background here as well is more transparent than normal you can see through it a lot easier so if we swipe over to the notification center you can see that it's a lot more transparent than normal and i really love the effect of it also with hide me x you can notice in the status bar i've hidden my battery logo so i just have the battery percentage up there and that's it also am or pm the part of the clock in the status bar i've hidden that as well just making my device look more and more simple even if we go to the lock screen here, you can see there's no slide to unlock. Uh, it just makes it look incredibly simple, and that's what I like to always go for on my device. So if we go into settings here, I'm not going to go through everything you can do with Hide Me X because it's pretty insane, but here are all the different areas that you can customize. Uh, like I said, I did Control Center. If you swipe down, you can hide the darkening view. You can use the old bounce, which I'm using. You can uh, custom color the grabber. I made mine completely transparent. That way there's no grabber on Control Center, which I think looks really good. You got your custom blur background. As you guys can see, I have that enabled. That's the value I'm using if you guys want to mimic that and make yours look the same as mine. Also with Notification Center, here are all the different things you can hide with this as well. You got the hide the bottom separator, section tabs, the status bar. You have custom blur there as well. That's my blur value for everybody that likes to try and mimic you know, certain settings that I do have. You also do have alerts, animations, uh, the dock, folders, force touch, you got home screen options, you got icon options, lock screen, notification center, and status bar. So a ton of stuff you can do uh, with Hide Me X. It's basically like 30 different tweaks all combined into one. Uh, and it's a little bit buggy right now on iOS 9.3.3, so if you guys uh, do decide to use it, just keep in mind it still needs an update, but mostly everything works fine. Uh, that I've noticed so that's pretty much it guys those are some awesome tweaks that do work on iOS 9.3.3 I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of best tweaks of the week like I said if you haven't seen previous episodes the playlist link is down in the description 
Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. And if you guys want to see more tweak videos in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.